but if you like dogs, you'll love this one. Our hot dog, Wild Bill, is at Turkey and the Wolf to give us a look at this weekend's hot dog safari. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, LBJ. Good morning, Amy. Yeah, th these hot dogs will bark and this turkey and the wolf will howl because of a uh, hot dog Bob and the hot dogs that he's created. Give us a tour of what you've made here this morning. Hot dogs for breakfast. Oh, just what the, you got? Uh, the classic Coney dog there in the center and then a uh, hot dog, cheese, onion, mustard. And then I just kind of threw some stuff on that one. And of course, because Turkey and the Wolf has gotten an international reputation for serving that fried bologna sandwich with potato chips smashed on top of it. Oh yeah, had you, to do that one, yeah. You, you, you've done done that with a hot dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> now these are delicious, but they're not qualified to be in the hot dog safari because you're not technically on it. You're gonna do part of the hot dog safari here? Uh, yeah, we're gonna host a comedy show here Saturday night where you can buy merchandise like t-shirts and scorecards. Then you go out to all of our competitors, rate them, return Howl and Wolf for having a party Monday night at 5 p.m. till. That's where you can turn in your scorecard. What are some of the places that are uh, in competition we have for our the best hot dog? Reigning champion is Glizzy's by Papa. Then we have Rom House, uh, Matchbook Kitchen, our friends at Wieners, Wieners, Wieners. Uh, <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> With friends like that, yeah, who needs, who needs a Coney Island hot dog? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, then we have uh, Bad Boy Steve's Chili Tavern, and uh, Marky Marks, and Candy Demore. Are there different categories like prettiest or Miss Congeniality or spiciest or uh, uh, most likely to <laughs> impress your mama or anything like that? All good ideas, but no, we just do uh, whoever wins takes it all. We have the five categories which are important, which is the hot dog itself, the toppings, the bun, presentation, and value. And that's where you get your score from, is gonna be from those five categories. And it's all to, uh, you sound like my boss. You're like, great idea. We're not gonna do any of them, but thanks for the thought. <laughs> but there's some great thought behind this because you see this refrigerator over here. This is one of the New Orleans community fridges. Yes, the New Orleans community fridges. It's a, a volunteer-based program where uh, people can have a refrigerator outside their house and provide food for the community. And the money that you raise from the hot dog safari goes to this, to fill the fridge. Yeah, so we literally just buy food throughout the year and fill these fridges as long as we can. Can you open up door number one? And, we can. And see what's in there? Can I? You need some help there? I got it. All right. Yeah, I used to be on a game show, so I can do this very well. <laughs> yeah. So you can see that the need is uh, intense because there's yes. nothing in the refrigerator. Yeah. People, or either people came and got food. People are hungry. They always need more food. You know? No kidding. Yeah. And uh, there's no reason in a... Uh, in a place as rich and wonderful as ours that we can't do this. Exactly. So Hot Dog Safari is when? It starts uh, Friday, April the 12th. We're going to be at Ale on uh, Oak Street. I'll be there around 4 p.m. till they close, selling scorecards, t-shirts, merchandise. Uh, then the uh, competitors will be available all weekend, their regular business hours. So you're going to go out and see them on Saturday. I'm going to be here at 7 p.m. for a comedy show. Kitchen will not be open, so just laughs, no food. Uh, also selling scorecards, selling merchandise. Sunday, we're going to be at Carrollton Station where we're going to have live uh, Mario Kart with a live band selling scorecards, merchandise, you know. And then Monday, we're going to start at the Actors Apothecary over on Britannia and go out and then try to get all the competitors in throughout the weekend. And then on Monday night, starting around 5 p.m., you can turn in your scorecards at Howlin' Wolf. And we're going to have Sean Riley in the water plane or Sean Riley in the hot dog water plane. Hopefully have a good time, big party. Announce the winner. I'm exhausted <laughs> and hungry just hearing all yeah. about that. It's a lot. LBJ and Amy, it's uh, Hot Dog uh, Bob. He, mm. he makes them, uh, you rate them. All right. Get well, your we'll be out there this weekend, Bob. Sounds uh -huh. delicious. That's a big look at there. Mm, all right. Gosh. Thank you, Bill.